Yes, look at that, yes. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruddy and welcome to my vlogs. I'm a cinematographer that's been vlogging for about 2010. Uh, not 2010 years, from 2000 year to... T Shut up, it's early, I have woken up about half an hour ago. I am still a bit demento today. Right, on the vlog today we're gonna be talking about Instagram and social media and how much I do not know about it. Um, the day before yesterday, me and Tom, speaking of which, that guy, uh, we went to Pinewood uh, to test some lenses, but on the way up we had a lengthy conversation about social media and how social media is is almost like a thing now that everybody sort of should have or at least everybody would expect you to have something on the social media. Is that correct? That sums it up quite nicely? Uh -huh. Got it. For me, I do believe that for cinematographers, Instagram, it's the, it's probably the best social media there is out there because on Instagram, you allow people to see ver two very specific things about a cinematographer. The way your um, pretty pictures look and the way you make your pretty pictures. It's almost like Twitter and Facebook came together, shaved all the fluff that you don't need and created something that was actually, that could be actually very useful for somebody to understand how do you operate and what kind of visuals you make. So basically today I'm gonna walk you through my process of making uh, Instagram pictures. First off, Instagram was created to work on phones. Um, it was meant to take a snap, edit it in your phone and upload it without having the need of cameras, editing softwares and all that bullshit. But Photo photographers and cinematographers have found a way to, of course, pimp up that by using proper cameras, running all that through software, then uploading them to like Google Drive or like some other file sharing service, downloading to their phone and uploading to, to Instagram. That's basically how we get pictures on Instagram. And my process is no different than that. I use this camera to usually take pictures on set or uh, I usually take f screen grabs directly from the camera that I'm shooting with. Is that going to be an Arri Alex? Is that going to be a Red Epic? Is that going to be a Blackmagic or some Mini or whatever it is? Then I put everything in... Um, uh, in Lightroom where I take the, all the raw files and I sort of move the colors about, I, um, I adjust the blacks and the whites, I add a little bit of contrast, I really like a little bit of sharpness in these images, not taking them but processing them because it's by taking the pictures a little softer you record that data but after that you sharpen all the edges in post-production it makes it more punchy when you're have when you're delivering it online on your social media. Why? Because everything is in a feed in social media, and people do this. People scroll. They don't stop and they don't look. They scroll. If something catches their eye, they, they then they stop. You need to make sure your things catch somebody's eye. It's it's like it's like selling shit in a shop or something. I don't know. Tags, very important. Um, I got a tip last year from a social media person that, that apparently that's a job now. Um, she told me write an email with all of the with, with, with all of the hashtags that you want um, to attach to your picture, and usually these hashtags are going to be repeating themselves because you're trying to sustain an account that has some coherence or. Um, you're trying to reach a certain group of the same people with the different posts. So these tags are usually going to be the same for different posts. So write yourself a little draft in your email with different hashtags that you want to have and write these into the comments of your post. Don't add them underneath the post because the post becomes very very big and nobody really wants to stop and read a massive post. But if you write them in the comments, they do the same job of attracting people to that post without having the post being huge. So. There you go. That's social media for you. Tom? Good morning. Good morning. What? Oh no! <laughs> What's your take on social media, Tom? It's media that's fairly social, which means people are going to see it, so behave. 